Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be telling you guys not to update your PS3 to firmware version 4.83. Now the official 4.83 firmware has now been released by Sony. It was actually released yesterday. Now apparently this impacts hand users. Um, I've been reading the comments on this and apparently some people have actually updated and if they have any kind of exploit installed, it just doesn't let them play any multiplayer games. And this guy here says do not update. Uh, if you try to connect to PSN or go online with multiplayer games using online features, um, it just won't work. So yeah, kind of interesting. Now I actually managed to get my Rebug PS3 um, to go online and all I did was um, spoof the software to version 4.82. I didn't even spoof it to 4.83, so that is kind of strange. I will be showing you guys how I did that later on in the video. But yeah, just as you're watching this, just like my last PS Vita video, do not update until there is a new exploit or it has been completely confirmed that we are allowed to update. So quite a few people saying here, they've updated and now they can't play online. Um, I think someone else said he tried to play FIFA 19 online and it just wouldn't work or something like that. So yeah, not sure if this is only affecting hand users um, or all PS3s in general, but I will show you guys how I got my Rebug PS3 online anyway. But yeah, if you have a hand PS3 or any kind of PS3 of custom firmware installed, do not update to the official version of 4.83. Also says here you could lose the ability to exploit. So if a new exploit does come out and you're on 4.83, uh, you probably won't be able to do it unless someone finally finds a way to you know, exploit the system. But as you know, that can actually take a very long time and it can actually take years and you know it's just not worth updating for. So now I'm going to go over onto my PS3 and show you guys how I managed to play multiplayer games and how I completely bypassed this software update. Right guys, so over on my PS3 now, I'm now going to show you how I managed to get this onto PlayStation Network and play multiplayer games without even having to update. First of all, I'm just going to prove my um, system software. So if I scroll down and just go into the system settings, scroll all the way down again and go into the system information, you can see I'm actually spoofing it to version 4.82. But right now I'm actually running on Rebug 4.81.2. I'll show you how I spoofed the system version as well. Um, so the first thing you want to do, I will leave tutorials in the description of how to install all of these software. Um, but the first thing you want to do is you actually want to open up PSN Patch. Now to do that, all you do is just hold down the X button and keep it holding it down until your PlayStation makes a beep sound and then restarts. Now you can let go once the beep's gone off and your PS3 is just going to boot up and now it's patched so hopefully you won't get banned now there's another thing you want to do you want to open up PS Ninja as I said again before I will have tutorials for everything um, used in this video in the description and um, they're kind of old videos on my channel but obviously this still lets me get online so you just want to press X on the top three options and then go down to X and press X now the next thing I'm going to show you guys is just my Sen Enabler options. So I'm just going to open that up. Now if I go into the Sen slash PSN options, I have got this um, enabled already. So if I press X on it um, and then go on to the first one, um, as you can see it comes up with disable. So I press X, it will ask me to disable. I'm just going to press circle. But just letting you guys know, I have got Sen access enabled. So now I'm just going to press circle to go back, circle to go back again. And that is it, I can now go down and press X on Exit. So right now my Rebug um, 4.81.2 PS3 is actually being spoofed to, to system software 4.82. Now I should be able to sign in without having to update to the latest version. Now I'm not quite sure how this works because technically I'm not actually spoofing that version. But let's just sign in anyway. So here we are guys on my account and keep in mind I'm not even on the latest version which is 4.83 so I didn't even have to update. Um, I have no idea how this still works unless it's like the PS Vita where I didn't actually get the update. Um, but yeah kind of strange and I'm still managed to play uh, multiplayer games and everything like that. So it could just be the update isn't here in the UK yet that is a very big possibility. But kind of strange how the update is out for most people and I haven't even got it yet. So now I'm going to show you some Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay. 
So yeah, this is kind of interesting. I honestly didn't expect to get this working online um, without having to update. And the other strange thing is, like I said before, I never even got the prompt to update uh, to the latest version. So right now, um, I have no idea what system software I'm spoofing. I assume it's um, 4.82, I guess. Um, it's definitely not 4.83 because the software that I use to spoof my version hasn't even had an update for that yet. So how I'm playing online, um, honestly don't know. But this does work, so if you want to follow it like I did and you're using Rebug, um, you can copy exactly what I did in this video and it should work for you. As far as hand goes, um, I have no idea to be honest. I don't actually have a PS3 that has that installed and I'm pretty sure um, it's a lot different. But yeah guys, that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.